Hit Why does Maltel wish to destroy this city? Because he feeds on death. Every time his reapers kill, he grows stronger. And with the prime evil gone, Malvale believes this is the perfect time to end the eternal conflict. Humanity has nothing to do with that war. We are the offspring of angels and demons. But when Maltel looks upon us, he sees demons. In church! All the refugees are inside! Follow me! Akrat's Bane! This is worse than I feared! What could this be? A death maiden! Stop her! Nephilim, your soul will be mine. Everything in our power to slow the Nephilim down, so that the collection of souls is not interrupted. It is the key to Malthiel's victory. There must be an end to this bloodshed. Where is Malthiel? I know only that he is not in Westmarch. He could have taken the Black Soul Stone anywhere in creation. Is there a way we can determine the purpose for which he took it? There may be. A sliver broke off when Malthael took the Soul Stone. Perhaps by studying that sliver, I can learn his plans. You must discover its secrets. Until then, I will go bring peace to the city. what the Death Maiden was trying to do in the cathedral. She was creating an orb that turns the living into Malthael's death creatures. A single orb can transform hundreds of innocent people every hour, and my men report two more of them out in the city. Soul crucibles. With two of them, Malthael has an endless supply of soldiers. Not for long. comes to save us. That won't bring my wife back, though. 
Will it? We stayed to fight, Robert and me. But he fell. And when they started to tear into him, I panicked. I ran. Be not ashamed. You live to carry on his memory. Why have the Horadrim come back? Tyriel rebuilt the Order to help him take the Soul Stone from Heaven, and to protect mankind. After all, you can't be everywhere at once, no matter how powerful you are. The Soul Crucibles turn the bodies of the dead into Reapers. That is the truth, is it not? Sadly, yes. But the Death Maidens are different. Their story is as tragic as mouth is. Once the vanguard of his wisdom angels, they followed him down the path to darkness. Malthael, my brother, he was wisdom, leader of our council, first among angels. And now, he has become this. How did this come to pass? After the destruction of the World Stone, Malthael's mood darkened and he left the heavens frequently. Then he disappeared completely. He must have developed a connection, no, an obsession with human souls. Death does not devour the spirit. It sets it free. Malthiel is lost in darkness. What do you hope to learn from studying that fragment of the Soul Stone? The sliver is still connected to the Soul Stone. As the stone changes, the sliver will change too. Therefore, I can observe what Malfail is doing to the stone, and if we're lucky, even discover his plan. Jewelry, at least. Harold, those monsters were about to kill us. Well, I would rather be dead than poor. He saved my brother at Bastion's King. I can't believe we're still alive. And it's all thanks to you. I thought we would die in that foul smelling place. What troubles you, my friend? We must speak. I have discovered that my order tortures its initiates and twists their minds. I need to know how high this evil reaches. If my whole order is corrupt, what does it mean to be a Templar? What am I? You are a man of great honor. A man who followed a path you believed was pure and true. But it wasn't, was it? The guilty will answer for their transgressions. I swear it. Well, the world's under attack and people are dying everywhere. It must be time for us to go on another adventure, right? I cannot Let do us that seek here. Our fortunes together. It is good to see you again, though it seems like we are only brought together in the worst of circumstances. But I suppose if times were better, we would never have met. has foreseen our victory. I know who is responsible for this. It's the poor. They've summoned these monstrosities to take Westmarch for themselves. Do you hear something? Is there anything on your mind, Hedrick? I was wondering what you thought of Westmarch, Rena. It is a fascinating city, so grey and dark, yet there is old magic running through parts of it. Magic from the east. What the hell is going on out there? Someone came 
love me after all this time? My friend Hedrick heard your voice. Bloody miracle! Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I owe you both. Come with me. It's safe up there now. West March originally grew from the efforts of the great general Rakis to spread his religion beyond the realms of the East. Seized by the superstitions of the Zakarum faith, he drove his paladins relentlessly across the barbaric western lands, subduing the uncivilized tribes he found there. Ultimately, he became king of them all. My library isn't far from here. I was closing everything up for the day when I heard the fighting in the streets. I barred the doors and then squeezed through the back window to escape. But I'll have to come up with something more exciting when I write my official account, won't I? Remember that noise I heard? It was that lad you rescued. I'm Bryson. I came here to see your friend. <laughs> and now he won't go away. You saved his life. Perhaps he wishes to show you his gratitude. I am. In fact, I'm going to repay Hadrick by helping him. And I told you to stay away from my forge. <laughs> I grew up over by the docks. Not the good part of town, but it's what my parents could afford. They died when the plague swept through a few years ago, within hours of each other. Like they had to stay together. I used to hate them for leaving me, but now... It's a relief they didn't have to see all this happen. Did you know there were once two moons? Lyria is the one that is no more. <laughs> I think it's time I told you the whole story of Zai. Master, the god of desire, Durgis. The truth and your words are usually far apart. Durgis' jewel has appeared again, and the time for secrets is over. Then it is time for you to tell me if you are a god. <laughs> there was a great gem market here in Westmarch. I spend many a carefree day browsing the aisles. To think that I will never again see all those happy little stalls, those rows of jewels, and those gem cutters. <laughs> Why would the angels do this to us? What are you saying? Dunkrake's just dead. I found him in the streets. He seemed in a day, so I brought him here with me, but he's hardly said anything. He's nobility of some sort, but I don't recognize the seal on his ring. The flames! The flames? Well, he was covered in soot. Perhaps he escaped from a fire. He never says more than a word or two at a time. You've heard the legend of the Tomb of Rakus, haven't you? Its location has never been found.